Hi guys, I'm glad you're all here. Hope you're enjoying your day. This Sunday night, May 15th, we're going to have a lunar eclipse. It's going to be the first one of this year, and they're calling it a blood moon. And it's going to occur during what's called the flower moon. It's going to be a visible across the North and South America and parts of Europe and Africa. It will be a full lunar eclipse here in the United States. You know, we're told to watch for signs in the heavens. This full moon is called the flower moon. That's because during this time of the month is when the flowers are supposed to be blooming. The moon is also supposed to be in Scorpio, which is supposed to be signs of power, control, secrecy. Supposedly, it's a time for us to face the truth at the heart of all things. A time to get rid of things that you don't, emo don't really emotionally need. Make room for growth to become a better person. A time to face things that we don't want to face, to acknowledge um, things we don't want to acknowledge, to make us into better people, like it or not. Um, it's a sign that some major changes are coming. A lot of people don't like change. So many of you are wondering, what time should you get out to st start watching the eclipse? Well, officially, the time of the eclipse for the East Coast will start at 9.32 p.m. For the Central Daylight Time, it will start at 8.32 p.m. And then for the West Coast, it would be 6.32 p.m. The Moon will slip or start to slip behind the shadow of the Earth for the East Coast at 10.27 p.m. For Central Daylight Time, it would be 9.27 p.m. And for the West Coast at 9.27. And for the West Coast, it would be 7.27 p.m. When it gets to the total eclipse, that will begin there for the East Coast at 11.29 p.m. 10.29 p.m., that's for Central Daylight Time. And for the West Coast, it would be 8.29 p.m. When it becomes totally blocked out, total maximum eclipse. For the um, East Coast, it would be 12.11 a.m. Central Daylight Time, uh, you need to be out there at 11.11 p.m. And for the West Coast, 9.11 p.m. The total total lunar eclipse will end for the East Coast at 12.53 a.m. For Central Daylight Time, it will end at 11.53 p.m. and end for the West Coast at 9.53 p.m. For partial end of the lunar eclipse. For the East Coast, that would be 1.55 a.m. For Central Daylight Time, that would be 12.55 a.m. And for the West Coast, it would be 10.55 p.m. Again, that's West Coast time. And then when the lunar eclipse is all done and over with, for the East Coast, that would be 2.50 a.m. For Central Daylight Time, that would be 1.50 a.m. And then for the West Coast... It will end at um, 11.50 p.m. During this time also, the lunar eclipse will take place during perigee, meaning that it is at the closest point to the Earth for the, for the month. This eclipse is also called a supermoon, meaning that during this eclipse, the moon will appear relatively large in our sky. So many of you that believe and know that uh, when the moon is closer to the earth, there's uh, going to be uh, more earthquakes and possibly 
volcanic eruptions? Well, yeah, many people have already noticed there's been an uptick of earthquakes, and that will continue uh, for a few days afterwards. People living along the coast, maybe one and a half days before the eclipse, will notice higher than usual tides. And also, um, higher than a usual tides will continue for about a day and a half after this eclipse. Anyways, uh, seeing how it's supposed to be in the power sign of Scorpio, that cannot be good. I think we've seen enough changes the last few years, and to think that more changes, like it or not, are supposedly supposed to be coming with this new sign in heaven, if you want to call it that. Yeah, I don't like what it's foretelling. So what are your thoughts? Put those comments down below. Thank you very much for watching. Thank you for subscribing. Hopefully, uh, for those of you that want to watch this lunar eclipse, you'll have clear skies. Please stay safe, and I'll talk to you later. God bless you. Bye.